But let's talk about not getting pregnant and like ways to do it like easily because it's about to be summertime. Ain't nobody trying to be pregnant. We're trying to be outside. Like we're trying to have a good time. Like so if you want to know some ways on how to not get pregnant for summer so we can be in them streets all summer 2022. Stay tuned. Hey y'all, thank you for tuning back into my channel. This is Fatima Yvonne. So I was reflecting on something and I was like, hey, my son is about to be not one, not two, but three. Next month, he's about to be three, three years old. And I'm not on birth control. And I haven't been pregnant again. I only been pregnant once and I had one baby. So I thought we should talk about ways to not get pregnant, like right after you have a kid, because there's a lot of myths where women think that they cannot get pregnant right after having a kid and that's like beyond the truth. Like you legit can get pregnant before you even get your period back, you can get pregnant. Like it's, it's scary out here to imagine being like four months postpartum and then getting pregnant again. I couldn't imagine and I surely wouldn't survive that so <laughs> I, I couldn't do it I'll tell you that but I wanted to just give y'all some tips on how I stayed not pregnant all these years so all right so number one thing the easiest way to not get pregnant is to do what be celibate celibate don't have no sex with nobody but yourself get you a toy I made videos about this get you a toy you can have sex with yourself. Don't have sex with no other person. That's the easiest way to not get pregnant. It's just to do it yourself, which can suck eventually. I guess if you're like, you know, whatever gets you. I don't know if you like physical touch and, you know, whatever, whatever. But that was one of the biggest things that kept me from getting pregnant after I had my son. Now, mind you, though, I will say this. I don't want you guys to think that I was just like, you know, just having a good old time after I had my son with myself. I was a single mom and I wasn't planning to be a single mom ever in life. That was never the thing. So for me, right after I had my son and continuing on for months and basically until he was a year old, I was not thinking about sex at all. Like I was definitely afraid. Like if I actually was with his father or dating somebody at the time, which I actually was dating somebody shortly after I had my son and before I had my son, same person. Um, but I would like, I was like, no, like, oh, you have sex for real? Like, cause I'll tell you this. So I was on birth control from the age of 15. 15 or 16 until the age of 22, 23, 23. And a lot of the birth controls that I had were recalled, like Yaz, Yasmin, Ocella, Nuvering. Like there was always those commercials like, if you have taken Yaz, Yasmin, or Ocella and have experienced a blood clot, you could be entitled to a settlement. And I was like, why do you keep saying this? Like, I was like, you know, whatever. Before it was just like Yaz, and it was Yaz and Yasmin. Then it was Yaz, Yasmin, and Ocella. Then Nuvering. And I tried Nuvering. And I was like, yo, like, why does everything I keep taking get, like, recalled or something crazy going on with it? Now, the last straw for me on birth control, this was when I was around 23. Actually, yeah, this was when I was around 23 was when I got a text message like, if you were on Yaz, Yasmin, and Ocella, uh, or Nuvering, you could be entitled if you had a blood clot or a, a and you could have died or you died, you could be entitled to a settlement. That was scary. So I was like, you know what? We're just, we're going to figure this out because I know I can't get pregnant every day. Like that's, that's not how it works. That's, that's not how it works. So I was like, okay, let's figure this out. So, um, I was in tune with my body 
and I knew when I was ovulating. Now, when you ovulate, there's different things that go on as far as like your vaginal discharge that comes out. It's more watery instead of like a little bit thick and juicy. Depending on how your stuff is, everybody's stuff is different, but it would be less thick. It would be more like water, like water, legit. Um, sometimes you're a little emotional or moody. Sometimes some people have like, you know, tender breasts and stuff like that. Like I get PMS symptoms as far as like headaches um, and super emotional when I'm ovulating and super duper horny. Like if I'm just randomly like out of nowhere, like, oh, some, ah! like I know it's because I'm what? ovulating and if you put all of these symptoms together you're like boom I'm ovulating so you can mark that on the calendar and be like boom you ovulate for so many days the peak ovulation is about like three to four days but you can still get pregnant within like a seven day period depending on you know swimmers and all that other kind of stuff so you definitely want to stay away from having sex the week that you're ovulating like even the couple days leading up to the ovulation and the couple days after because that egg is still in there and something could still swim up to it and be like what up you want a baby you want a baby i got you like just just don't do it like just no but me because i was also a breastfeeding mom sex was like not even not even a thought like not even not even so I didn't tell y'all my secret though, but like legit, like after I had my son, like first of all, when I got pregnant, like shortly after I told myself it's father, I stopped having sex. Like we were like done. So it was like no sex. When I tell y'all about the whole celibacy thing, when I tell y'all I didn't have sex until the last time I had sex with my son's father, which I was still pregnant. And this was like, I was like early pregnant, like maybe like two months pregnant. Nah, three months, three months pregnant. And then I didn't have sex again until my son was a year old, like a year out, a year old. So like basically my whole pregnancy, I didn't have sex. And not until after my son turned one years old did I have sex, like, so that's why I say, try it try it but I will also say this too is that you have to remember that your body changes after you have a baby so you may think when you listening to me like I can't wait that long um you won't know until after you push that baby out like after you have a baby you won't know my sex drive was like non-existent because I was focused on being a mother, focused on breastfeeding, focused on being a single mother <laughs> and learning motherhood and, and learning breastfeeding and all that stuff and learning my child as well as healing. So sex was not a factor for me at all. I thought about it. I ain't gonna lie. I, thought, I, did, I, did, I did think about it like when I got really stressed out and when I was ovulating but mm -mm. I kept them closed girl kept them legs closed because I was like ain't nobody else going mm -mm, no more babies for me if you want a baby you gotta give me a ring you gotta give me another ring a ring and a paperwork I didn't have a ring you gotta give me a ring and a paperwork period all right, so now if you're like an herbalist or a naturalista, which I, you know, I dabble a little bit for the most part, actually. Um, I've heard that there's another alternative that you can use. It's called neem oil. Now, I did hear from a friend that that neem oil is stank and it don't smell good. But I heard you can just use a little bit of that and it's a natural spermicide and you can just put it, you know, around your area and I believe also inside. You guys can look this up to confirm it, to like see how you would specifically use it because I ain't look it up. I just know I heard from a couple good sources that it's good, but I just heard it really stinks. So you could try it, but it's natural. It's supposed to not, you know, hurt you. It's supposed to be better than some spermicide. So you could try that. But I would just implore you, if you are not trying to get pregnant right away, just say no to sex, my friend. 
stick with the toys because the toys will never get you pregnant okay get your go ahead get that rose out the drawer girl mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. get your wine mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you be straight if you like this video thank you so much for tuning in do not forget to like comment share subscribe i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in the next one bye